And a lot of good things have come out about the hydroxy. A lot of good things have come out. And you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it, especially the frontline workers, before you catch it. The frontline workers, many, many are taking it. I happen to be taking it. I happen to be taking it. I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. And if it's not good, I'll tell you right, I'm not going to get hurt by it. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Excuse me. A lot of doctors take it. I take it. Now, I hope to not be able to take it soon because, you know, I hope they come up with some answer. But I think people should be allowed to. I got a letter from a doctor the other day from Westchester, New York, around the area. He didn't want anything. He just said, sir, I have hundreds of patients, and I give them hydroxychloroquine. I give them the z pack which is zithromycin, and I give them zinc. And out of the hundreds of patients, many hundreds, over 300 patients, I've, I haven't lost one. He said, please keep pressing that, sir. Uh, and if you look at that phony report that was put in, that report on the hydroxy was given to people that were in extraordinarily bad condition. Extraordinarily bad. People that were dying. No, I, I think, for whatever it's worth, I take it. I was uh, — I, I would have told you that three, four days ago, but we never had a chance because you never asked me the question. Are you the White House doctor that? recommend you take that? Is that why you're Yeah, doing White that? House doctor. I didn't recommend. No, I asked him, what do you think? He said, well, if you'd like it. I said, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like to take it. A lot of people are taking it. A lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine. A lot of front — I don't take it because, hey, People said, oh, maybe he owns the company. No, I don't know the company. You know what? I want the people of this nation to feel good. I don't want them being sick. And there's a very good chance that this has an impact, especially early on. But you look at frontline workers, you look at doctors and nurses, a lot of them are taking it as a preventative. And they're taking totally unrelated, but they take the z pack or the zithromycin for possible infection. Now, I haven't taken that other than an original dose, because the, all you need, you don't have to take it simultaneously. But the zinc, you do take. So I'm taking the two, the zinc and the hydroxy. And all I can tell you is, so far, I seem to be OK. Can you explain further why you started taking it? Have you been exposed? Yeah, because no, no, not at all. I just said that I've had so many letters from people like the one I told you about. I got it last week. I'll give you — would you like a copy of it? I'd love to give you. If you ask Molly, she'll give you a copy of it. But this is a doctor. He doesn't want anything. I don't know him. Never heard of him. But he treats people that are — that we're talking about. And he said out of hundreds of people that he's treated, he hasn't lost one. And he just wanted me to know about it. That's all. It wasn't — he wasn't saying, gee, could I have dinner with you, Mr. President? I'd like to come to the White House. But I've received many such letters. I've received a lot of positive letters. And it seems to have an impact. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But if it doesn't, you're not going to get sick or die. This is a, a uh, pill that's been used for a long time, for 30, 40 years, on the malaria and on lupus, too. And even on arthritis, I guess, from what I understand. So it's been heavily tested in terms of uh, — I was just waiting to see your eyes light up when I said this. But you know, when I announce this. But, yeah, I've taken it for about a week and a half now, and uh, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you explain, sir, though, you, what is the evidence that it has a preventative effect? Here we go. You ready? Here's my evidence. I get a lot of positive calls about it. The only negative I've heard was the study where they gave it — was it the VA? With, you know, people that aren't big Trump fans gave it. And we've done the greatest job, maybe, of anything in the VA, because I got VA choice and VA accountability, both approved. Accountability, Tillman, is where you can fire bad people that work in the VA, that you couldn't fire them. We had thousands of people that were sadists, that were stealing, that were robbers, that were horrible people. They'd beat up our veterans. They couldn't do it in prime time, but they did it when they were sick. And we got accountability. Nobody thought you could get it because of the unions and civil service. I got it passed so that now you fire bad people in the VA. We got rid of tremendously bad people that should have never been there. But I also got probably, even more importantly, if you can say that, maybe not, VA choice. 
So if you have to wait online for a doctor, you go outside, you have a private doctor, we pay the bill. We work out deals with doctors. We have pricing. So you go out, you pay the bill. And it was a great thing that we did. So we've done a great job with the VA, but they had a report come out. And uh, the results of the report, it was a very unscientific report, by the way. But I get a lot of tremendously positive news on the hydroxy. And I say, hey, you know the expression I've used, John? What do you have to lose? Okay, what do you have to lose? So I take happen, medicine? I have been taking it for about a week, a week for about a week and a half. Every day? At some point, every day. I take a pill every day. Uh, at some point, I'll stop. What I'd like to do is I'd like to have the cure and or the vaccine, and that'll happen, I think, very soon. And you've had no symptoms, sir? Uh, no, zero symptoms. No, I haven't had any symptoms. No, I tested. We, I test every couple of days. They want to test me, you know, for obvious reasons. I mean, I am the president. Right? So they want to test me. I don't want to be tested, but they want to test me. So every couple of days, I get tested. And I've been — I've shown always uh, negative, right? Negative. Is that the term you use for this, right? Negative. Totally negative. No symptoms, no nothing. But no, I take it because I think uh, I hear very good things. Again, you have to go to frontline workers. Many frontline workers take it, and uh, they seem to be doing very well. Any other members of your administration, Vice President Pence or your family? No, but I wouldn't be surprised. I, I don't want to ask them because that's a personal decision as to whether or not you want to say. I just want to be open with the American public because, you know, I happen to think it's good. I do want the letter given because this letter made uh, — not in terms of my taking it, but I thought it was a very well-crafted letter by a man who's a respected doctor up in Westchester, maybe a little beyond Westchester, a little up higher, and uh, in New York. And he just — he didn't want anything. He just wanted me to know the results of what he's doing as a doctor. And he was so happy with the fact that I, I fight for this stuff. And then we have this crazy whistleblower, this fake whistleblower, get out and try and, you know, knock it. Uh, who was — who signed the application? He, he did all the — he did the signing. He was a believer at one point, I assume. Otherwise, he shouldn't have signed it. No matter who told him to, he shouldn't have signed it. Okay, one more question. That's it. Uh, thank you all very much.